knowledge. A lot of people have the negative connotation that in a lawn care business, it's a grind. You're gonna have to work hard and it's a true blue collar industry. The only way to make money is it's hard work. That's a big thing that drives a lot of people out of the industry because they don't wanna work blue collar or they don't wanna work hard for their money. They rather find a way that's a little bit easier, a little bit less stress on the body to make their money rather than go the hard route. What if I were to tell you there's a lazy way you can make money in lawn care without having to sacrifice your back or the so-called hardships of working a blue collar job? When I started in lawn care, I was actually grinding. I was starting off by going door to door, knocking on every single door and trying to close yards to mow that same day. Like I would ask people literally, can I mow your yard right now? I started going door to door, bringing my equipment with me, knocking on neighbors doors to mow right that second. And I was working the hard way, I was working. I was sacrificing my bag. We were out there slaving away and trying to make money. Now that I got a little bit older and gained a little bit more perspective, I can now see how hard we were working and that there was a lot more easy ways to make that money that we were making back then. If you wanna be in this industry and basically make your money in a lazy way, you're gonna kinda of have to think in a different way than a lot of people take the approach of a lawn care business. A lot of people think lawn care business is, okay, advertise for customers, do the work for the customers, get reviews, those reviews get you more customers, and then the cycle continues and you grow your lawn care business bigger and bigger. Yeah, 100%, that can work. If you're not trying to work and do the actual fulfillment and do the hard labor part, there's other methods to get around that and tailor your business where you're a businessman and you actually don't do any labor and you technically have a white collar job. The first thing you're gonna wanna do if you wanna position yourself like this and not have to do the hard work is going to be, you're gonna have to change your mindset. You can't be running around here picking weeds, sacrificing your back if you're trying to make this the lazy way. Obviously that's not lazy. Also the money's not just gonna come to you. There is something you have to do but it's not actually doing the physical work. You're gonna have to position yourself in your business where you actually don't fulfill the work, but you actually have an acquisition channel. So you're gonna have to think a little bit different when you're taking your approach in this business. Is a logo gonna matter? Is this gonna matter? Is that gonna matter? A lot of things won't matter anymore if you're trying to do this, the lazy approach. So you're gonna kinda have to structure yourself in a way where you are not technically a business. You're more of a lead gen company. It's a little bit different. So, but it's just gonna be like super small scale. Remember, this is just to make a couple extra bucks. You're not gonna kinda grow big and compete with the big dogs. Who knows, maybe you start the next home advisor, but let's be honest, you probably have better chances of winning roulette in the casino. Okay, what are said acquisition channels? What can you do to get the customers that you don't have to service somehow, some way, you don't have to service these customers? What you need to do is you need to find out what's the cheapest method to get your customers. I don't know your market, so you're gonna have to do split tests and figure this out. Maybe it's door hangers, maybe it's Google ads, maybe it's Facebook ads. It doesn't really matter. You're just gonna have to look and find out what is the most profitable acquisition channel that you do have. You're gonna have to press it. Remember, you don't have to have that much money. Why? Because you're not gonna be able to scale this super big. So just basically you can even advertise with like a hundred bucks a month. If you have door hangers, you can put out door hangers. You can order them, they're super cheap. If you want to go put them out yourself, I'm not gonna lie, door hangers are a very easy marketing method. Maybe it's Google ads. Maybe you have a more simple approach. Maybe you can do it all online and you're super good at running Google ads. Then use that. Use Google ads to get your acquisitions. This is something I call the throw work method. Basically what you do is you grab a customer, you get a customer through some form of acquisition that you got, right? And basically you just throw the work to a different contractor and take your cut. This is a little middleman cut. Everyone knows that this you can do this in lawn care. Everyone knows that you can do this in service industry in whole. But a lot of people actually just don't make a business model in this sort of way. You're gonna have to compete with people like Home Advisor and Angie's List. And remember, these are, I don't know, hundreds of millions or billion dollar companies. I mean, that's gonna be super hard. But there's still fish in the pond where you can at least get a little couple hundred bucks a week. You can still make some money by doing this. Basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get customers through your acquisition channel and you're just gonna throw them and take your middleman cut. The cut is gonna have to be something that can cover the cost of the expense of advertising. And remember, this is your only job. Your only job is getting customers now. You're gonna have a lot more time to think about how am I gonna get customers, how am I gonna do this. There's only one problem still. Obviously there has to be a problem. He's not gonna tell us the real way to make money. Let me talk, let me talk, let me talk. The one problem you're gonna have is going to be getting the good contractors. You don't wanna throw these customers 
to people who are doing, let's be honest, work. If you throw these customers to people who do work, guess what? Now your reviews are gonna go bad on your acquisition channel or whatever, and then bam, now you're gonna have a bad rep, which you're gonna limit the amount of acquisition you can get. So you need to throw these, this work to guys who do good work and guys who are gonna show up. How do you find good guys? Well, I don't know, maybe you should go check Google. That sounds simple enough. Like really, is it that hard? I'm not even gonna go over this because just go on Google, bam, you find a good contractor, just look at reviews. Bam, so you're done, three steps. Acquisition of customers, throwing work to a good contractor, and your commission split. And you're making money, you're golden. This is an easy way that you can make $100 a day. Say for example, if your split was $50 per customer that you're giving someone, then bam, all you need is two customers a day and now look, you're gonna be making $100 a day, sitting on your butt, barely doing anything if you can run Google ads efficiently. Hey man, I'm just the messenger. I'm just giving you guys some ideas because I know some people don't wanna scale a bigger business, some people don't wanna even do the work, so I'm gonna give you guys information of someone who's super lazy, someone who doesn't wanna grow and deal with employees, and someone who wants to deal with employees, because I've been through all three. Remember, if you guys want to message me or have any questions about this video, leave a comment or message me on Instagram. My Instagram is at Girl Landscaping Services. I'm on Instagram, you know, we're posting reels there, posting information clips and polls, so you guys can vote on certain things and see where everyone is really thinking, so you guys can kind of compare your mindset to all the other long hair guys. I kind of like that aspect that I've been doing. If you guys want to take part in that and see what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, Follow me on Instagram. Remember, I have something coming for you guys very soon and I'm gonna be announcing it on the 18th. Hey, I'm just letting you guys know now, it's gonna be limited, so remember that date, the 18th of this month, and that's gonna be a super important date if you pay attention to my content and if you wanna learn more. But I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.